BC5150 contains a touchscreen with user-friendly software and the power status indicator indicates the working status of it. The users can load sample through the sample probe after press the aspirate key. You can switch on BC5150 from the rear where has diluent and inlet and the waste outlet. The waste sensor can monitor the liquid level and gives alarm earlier than waste is full. The DIFF lice and LH lice are located on the left door. BC5150 also has four USB ports for the connection of printer, keyboard, mouse, etc. And there is one LAN port which can access to LIS. Please use clean EDTAK2 or EDTAK3 anticoagulant collection tubes to collect venous blood samples and be sure to collect at least 0.5 milliliters of blood every time. You may enter the patient information including sample ID, name, age, gender, etc. and select the whole blood mode accordingly. Mix the sample well and run it through the sample probe. Remove the sample tube after you hear the beep sound. Please use clean EDTAK2 or EDTAK3 anticoagulant collection tubes to collect capillary blood samples and be sure to collect at least 120 microliters of capillary blood every time. Please run the capillary whole blood sample within 3 minutes to 2 hours after collection. You may enter the patient information including sample ID, name, age, gender, etc and select the capillary whole blood mode accordingly. Tapping the bottom of the tube over eight times to mix the sample well and run it through the sample probe. Remove the sample tube after you hear the beep sound. Click the diluent dispensing icon, then present a clean tube to the sample probe. Press the aspirate key to dispense 480 microliters diluent. To continue with diluent dispensing, repeat the steps. Click Cancel after preparing all the diluents. Add 20 microliters of capillary blood or venous blood to the diluent. Close the tube cap and mix it properly. After mixing the capillary sample with the diluent, be sure to wait 5 minutes and then remix before running the sample, and run the pre-diluted sample within 30 minutes after the mixing. You may enter the sample information including sample ID, name, age, gender, etc. and select the pre-dilute mode accordingly. Mix the pre-diluted sample well and run it through the sample probe. Remove the sample tube after you hear the beep sound. When the time for which the analyzer is free from fluidic operations reaches that, you have set at the setup screen of the analyzer. Default setting is 15 minutes. A dialog box will pop up, prompting entering standby status. You may exit the standby status by pressing the aspirate key or tap on the screen. You can review the sample results by table after tapping table review and see the graphics by tapping graph review. For unwanted sample results, select it and tap delete. Every sample result is editable. Click the desired sample result and then click the Edit Result button. Modify the results and tap OK to save the changes. Select sample records to be printed and then tap Print to print them. You can also select Auto Print in Setup menu to print out report automatically. If you would like to further analyze some sample results, tap Export after inserting a flash disk. If the parameter is followed by an H or L, it means the analysis result has exceeded the upper